What's up, Caporistas? Welcome back to the Capor Experience Podcast. This is your host, Instructor Kashishi. Thank you so much for coming back and thank you so much for being part of the Capora community. I love seeing my Capora community grow, our Capora community grow, because it's more, way, 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 way more fun when it's more people unified for one cause, which is Capora, to have fun, to have friends, to express yourself in the harder, doesn't matter how, uh, how you play. But I'm going to leave you with a part two, part two with Professor Bacana, my conversation with Professor Bacana, because it was a very, very cool conversation. It was a very inspiring conversation, okay? But before you go, before you go to the podcast, to this episode, to the second part of this episode, please, 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 if you know somebody that have gone uh, through the experience, gone or go, have go, have go, or how do you say it? How do you say it? So any person that have, go, have gone through depression or anxiety that they feel anxiety, okay? Let me know because I want to have them on the podcast. They have capoeira, they have done capoeira. And because I want to see how capoeira help with anxiety and depression. I really, really feel that this is something that we should talk in the capoeira community because he helped me, he helped me with uh, my my anxieties. I uh, also get anxieties and he helped me with many, many things, you know, many, many things. But I want to talk about this during the episode, okay? You you can listen what I have, what I went through whenever I have somebody on the podcast because I want to share these ideas. I want to share what, these experiences, depression or anxiety or both, or, and, and how Capoeira help to overcome this, to make you feel better, to make you feel happier. And and you know, I just want to listen to the experience and learn from you and see and see how people, you know, probably out there, there's someone with, with the same, going through the same. So we can find a solution. We can find help during, uh, uh, within the Capoeira community. So you never know. Okay. So let's roll for the next episode, part two with Professor Bacana. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, you train certain parts of your body. Yeah. You know, as 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 a is a body parts. Yeah. Jiu-jitsu is one. Mai Tai is another. But capoeira, dude, you go from your spine all the way to your, you know, your wrists. Yeah. You gotta have to have flexibility. For brain, your muscles, yeah. your shoulder, Reflex. your arms, everything, man. and everything else. You yeah. know, and then like a. Boom, and then people start to come. So like uh, that was the the big key, you know. And then like there was like always like uh, there for me like before we like a mess friend never left me, dude. Mess friend like uh, he comes like back and you're doing okay. He like uh, sometimes his worry is like dude, you you know you're doing okay. Everything on, on the gym you need anything? If you need anything, you let me know. I like, no, mess, everything's under control. Nice. You know, and go That's and so then cool, like. And then, like, what I tried the most, Kashishi, is keep, because, like, everybody's gonna say, like, it's hard on these days to keep balance between three different, you know, art forms. Yeah. And I'm a very blessed, and I'm gonna explain it to you why. Because even then, like, my Capoeira program, you know, I'm the teacher of my Capoeira program, I call every, everybody else my students because they listen to me, nice. even that's not their art form. That's pretty cool. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. like uh, I talk to the people like on my time like, when I train with them because I, you know, sometimes I do like the classes. I try to, we very beat up to the ears in Capoeira. So like uh, you cannot push much. Yeah. You know, so like I train with them every every now and then. They're like, you know, my physical let me because knees and, and other injuries. But like, uh, you know, they listen to me and they, you know, they see fundamentals in what I do. And I try to transmit the same thing to them and the same thing Jiu-Jitsu. So all of them, we're all friends and helping yeah. each other in, in your own art form. 
Yeah. And then I say like uh, it's huge, bro, because like we keep a, such a balance and respectful place, you know, where don't have like the you know, I do jiu-jitsu. That do just capoeira, man. You know. Yeah. yeah. You, you understand that don't exist. So like nice. I say that I'm trying to build a, a ego free environment. Nice. That's <laughs> awesome, man. That's awesome. Especially you know, especially like three type of martial arts is like Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. The, the main thing about like Apex what it was. Apex is the name of the gym that holds three entities. They support they support themselves. Okay. On this case going to be like you know, Maculele Capoeira, Mestre Fran, Shootbox, Team Cyborg and Grace United. Nice. Okay. So Apex, you know, is the top like you know, the name say like is the top of the food chain. So like I put like under that, you know, the three you know, big entities you know, to be together from the same, for the same purpose. Okay. Yes. Try to help the community have like, you know, we trying to get like a Mai Tai to have a community, uh, community classes. I want to do have like a couple of community classes. Nice. You know, with social problems, you know, Jiu Jitsu, you know, we're going to try to do with it too. Yeah. You understand? So like, uh, we all have like uh, the same purpose, you know, And nobody like looking over nobody's shoulder. Yeah. Everybody's fighting for the same, same thing. So that is the the part that like uh, that makes me more happy to have it. Nice, nice. You know? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's pretty nice. And and what was the motivation behind behind you opening the studio and be like, well, I think you know I want to grow my school. Or what, what was that motivation that, bro, is that keeps you keep, keep you moving. And look at Mass Fran and see how he does, and the person he is is a motivation by itself. Nice, yeah, it is, it is 100%. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. I used to train before, you know, with like a, someone, and they're like a, a lot of people sometimes they doubt you, yeah, understand, and they yeah. put you down, and they stay, you know. They talk they you say, out like, of they the might, they, they, they barely like look at you and say, like, you're not capable. Yes. And they're like, I, I believe in life, we're capable to do anything, dude. It's 100%. not a, such a thing that's luck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me neither. You, you understand? Yeah. Luck is the, is the word for, for those who's like a hustle and, and, and do their things. And you have like a, you know, that saying, everything that you plant, you know, either or you are going to be the one getting the fruits later on. Yeah, you understand, yeah. and even when, like, you know, I was like getting stepped out, and then, like, you know, I was like, uh, you know, pushing away. I always have like a mess from behind us, like, dude, you know, you're capable, bro. Yeah, you know, we're here. You, you understand, it's not even like a to prove a point, but like, it's a dream coming true. Yeah, you know, because like, uh, on the night stage for us. We work a lot, and sometimes we're so far away from our families. Yeah. And capoeira, my Thai Jiu Jitsu, be here at the gym, is is a is a close home from home. Yeah. Is the best feeling of like you know have like a, someone around you. Yeah. And then, like I say, because all this like a difficult that I passed like a, throughout like a, the years on the United States, like with work, you know, people down to you like in your work. You know, down you like that you're capable to do something or like you know maybe like this and this and that. I was like, a, you know, like a lot of people is like me out there. Yeah. So that's what I say when you when I opened my gym was to be to have a school where anyone can walk through the front door and be treated the same. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. No matter if you walking through that door. And you are a badass teacher, or you're walking through that door and you don't know nothing. Yeah. If you come here to relax, I am here to help you relax. If you come here to train, I'm help you to train. Yeah. If you come here to have friends, we're here for you. You understand? Each yeah. person got their own interest in doing stuff. Some people does capoeira because they love music. Yeah. Yeah. And not the ones love the culture. They're not the ones love the physics, yeah, you know, yeah. acrobatics, like those, some dudes is just amazing. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah. like, don't matter how old you are, like in Capoeira, you know, you, you know, you might oh, never going to reach around. the potential some of them have, 
<laughs> yeah. You know, they just like a born with, you know, a gift. Yeah, with a gift of like you know, sleeping around. Yeah. In, oh, yeah. In capoeira, bro, it's not such a thing. Like, I'm good on everything. You know, you're not. Because like, nah, you're yeah. going to have a kid that's going to play better. Yeah. And not the one who's going to sing better. Yeah. And not the one who's going to know the history better. Yeah. They're not the one might going to teach you amazing class. Yeah. So like we are a, such a diversity of people, you know, that, you, you know, you work with the diversity. Dude. You have like women's coming like through the gym. You know, they want to know if everybody at the gym is respectful. Yeah. You want their sense is everybody's dressing nice. Yeah. You want their sense. Everybody's going to respect. Yeah. So like you got to give like a that environment. And that, you know, that's what Capoeira teach me my whole life. Yeah. And that's a little bit that I'm trying to introduce here. So like the motivation behind all of this Kashishi is like a help the people the way I got the help when I would need it. Nice, nice. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I reach out to Mess from Mestra Sara, I got the help that I was needed. It's nothing more than fair to re reply as the same. Yeah. You understand? 100%. So like, uh, in that way, you're not just like a, a cup with a teacher on that point only. Because like the people passing through, they looking at you as a, as, as a, as a teacher and as a, as a guide. Yeah. You know, it's a guy that like, you know, if they need to sit down with you, they want to sit down with you. It's like, no, professor, this, this is happening. Or like, a, or, you know, I don't have like the money to pay for this month. So I say, I don't care. Yeah, you know, yeah, just keep gone. you know, keep grinding, keep training. Yeah, I, I, you understand. Some people gonna say like, uh, you know, I cannot make this week. Like, uh, don't worry, bro. I'm gonna be here. When you yeah. come back, we're gonna train harder. Well, well we're gonna. You be, know, yeah, it's not yeah. that thing. Like, no, professor, I'm not gonna be here next week. Like, why? You yeah. should be here. Why are you not yeah, training? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on, dude. Yeah, you have my a friends, bro. Yeah. It's my yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have things to do too, bro. Yeah. If you cannot make it, don't worry. I train for you. Yeah, and I'll see you when I see you, and we're we right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, when you do this, people they want to come more. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, if you walk on there, say for instance, if you cross to inside the gym, and then, like, uh, you know, you get someone and they feel like, like, okay, you train this, this, and then, and you don't feel confident, you might want to come back one, two, three times. Yeah, 100%. Oh, and yeah. then, when you cannot make it, the dude turns around to you, like, why you cannot make it? Yeah, you're not coming the next day because like most of the people is not that is not what they're looking for. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. yeah, so you gotta know how to identify those people. You gotta know how to help them. You know, 100%. you gotta know if they only want to come like for the extra size. They might gonna fall in love with the arts. Yeah, I like that. I like that because no, like like you said, you know, like no, 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 everybody is going to be capable to to do capoeira and do everything capoeira and, and capoeira is going to filter filter them yeah yeah but yeah. guess what every hall needs a good singer good beating ball players oh yeah good oh, instrument yeah. players good game players oh yeah oh yeah good people clapping and, and singing yeah so yeah. you cannot do by yourself yeah yeah you know you need everybody's gonna have their quality at their own yeah Our jinger is not going to have the same. You can teach your students, but they're going to jinger their way. Yes, yes, yeah. They're going to yes. have like the fundamentals that will give it to them, but yeah. the expression is their own expression. 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 their jinger is their fingerprint. Yeah, that's in yeah. life too. You yeah. cannot like expect like everybody be the way you are, but you got to know how to understand the way they are. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. So yeah. like... Uh, That's capoeira, bro. And then, like, that's what, like, my motivation, you know. That's pretty cool. Because capoeira did a lot to me. Yeah. Yeah, same. You know, I can't say, like, a, you know, with point and blank, like, a mess from mess aside did a lot to me. You understand? The people that I trained did a lot to me. Yeah. My master, the best way, was my father, basically. Because, like, my mom and my dad divorced, like, on a very, you know, when I was very young. Yeah. And capoeira took over. So, you know, I have them as my guide, as my, like, uh, you know, boom. So, like, uh, n n I need to be good to represent, because, yeah. like, this Kishishi, we friends. If I do something wrong here, I'm not representing you. Yeah, 100%, yeah. I like that. You know, 
and then you have the right to come on me. It's like what you do. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you Why out. You yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, walk side by side with you. Yeah, because because that that's uh that's what I keep telling my friends, you know, like and and I tell that to my wife. He's he's like, you know, so sometimes as a friends, you you all you gotta call them out because and then if you if you for the for both right for the good stuff and for the bad stuff, because sometimes we, we call them out for just for the bad stuff and then it becomes like like a toxic relationship. Let's call it that way. And be, because we're always saying telling them like, hey, what are you doing this? Hey, why are you doing this? Hey, you're messing up on this. But what about the good stuff? You know, like they, they are doing good stuff too. And that, that's why- You I, gotta look at it as an overall. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I see, know, I see so like people a, that they, they come to you and they just complain and they just throw negativity, you know, but he's like, you know, I have good stuff too. Like, are you gonna see the good stuff too? Like, hey, But like, a, that's, that's the trick, Kashishi. Yeah. When someone comes like a, to you and they're like, a, that happens with me. You know, and then when someone comes like and, and they upset and they complain, 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 it's like, look, bro, let's look for the good stuff together. Yeah. You know, first of all, let's put all of that on the side and let's start to do something here for we can get distracted. Then we talk about this later. Yeah. Let's you talk show about the them solution. their pets. Yeah. You show them, it's like, look, bro, just like a leave on the side right quick. Let's have an hour. Yeah. You know, of a good stuff. Yeah. I yeah. know it's going to overcome the bad stuff. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You know, yeah. So like, uh, we gotta be guides on the same talk. Yeah, yeah. That bro is like, if I can, exp you know, I don't think is a. That's my my motivation. Kashishi. is all of that that we just like uh, talk. That that is like, uh, you know, if I could do that like uh, for a long time, that's like that's what I choose. You know, to I like do. it. I like it. And and uh, how who who's doing marketing on your in your academy and your school your or your business who's are you doing the bro marketing? i do i do a few marketings you know i really like mainly have like my my web page nice. and have like my instagram and everything else i still work i work on construction you yeah. know from like six in the morning to like a four or five o'clock in the afternoon before i make the gym so like a, the the best that i can do is like keep sharing for sure you yeah. know and, and, and keep it doing not that i i don't invest like in marketing just yeah. quite yet, you know, because like, uh, let's say like uh, the, the academy is only one year old exactly. and then like I'm trying to tie it up the ends yeah. to make sure, you know, the best way because I want to offer, you know, something good, but like uh, the outcome that we, without marketing is been awesome because like That's uh, awesome. people has been come through and people like hit me up and they're like, you know, can I come? Of course you can come, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes like a people call me and say, you know, because uh, how much it is? It's like, a, you want to come and train? Come and taste it first. Yeah. You know, come in, you know, do one class, two class, and they're like, then we talk. Yeah. You know, got to be friends. Not that I want to sell my product, but like I want them like to come and see what it is. And people, bro, it's been like, oh, I'm going, I went over there to Professor Bacana, or I went to Apex. Oh, I went to Grace United. They have Capoeira in Mai Tai. Or nice. the guy from Mai Tai comes like, Wow, I was training, and then like uh, they have like this short dude. They do capoeira, like you know. <laughs> so like it's funny, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I, nice. it's a blessing to yeah. to have like a zero investment yeah. into it. Yeah. You know, but one more time, I think everything that you plant is gonna become a time that like you know you're gonna see the the results of. Yeah, for sure. And then like you never lose to be a good person. Yeah. Yeah, you know, no matter what, and so like, and always, like, a, my whole life, I have that with me. Yeah, D during this year, do you have a like, a lot of uh, like people that they come to try and they never come back, like turnover? Because I, I that happens to me a lot. And bro, I'll say like in capoeira is hard because yeah. like they come yeah. in and they see capoeira, and then like you know, if you, if you if you're really not into it, or you never heard about it, or if you never you know, watch a video, you know, you're going to come and you're going to do it and your legs going to get sore. And next day, you're not going to be walking. <laughs> you know, know. And most likely, you're not going to come back. <laughs> I, know. I know, that's funny. That's true. Right? That's true, but yeah. Like, a buddy, you do like an hour off, like, okay, that's your first day. Yes, like, let's do Jinga, you know. Yeah. Jinga by itself is like, a, is a, is a, is a extremely exercise. Oh, yeah. 
your thighs and your calves and you know your back and then you try and your motor coordination is all like all over the place you know but some people like they feel in love they fell in love with it because they exercise it so in my thai most of them like they come and see us they enjoy capoeira jiu jitsu they have a, a 20 i think it's like a no, it's a 45 days challenge you know mm. so like a people come and do 45 days challenge you know for like a little bit like a week and they train you know they you know we put them like on weight in we wait yeah. you know their their body you know it's like okay that's the day you start with this much weight let's see how much you're going to be like in 45 at the days. very end yeah yeah nice. so that's what like a coach mark came with the 45 days like a, you know jiu-jitsu challenge nice. i'm planning to do that the same like in capoeira the same in, as my thai you know so like, like they will kind of like okay so i can come and do this for 45 days and see the results really all depends on on you you know yeah, how yeah, much yeah. effort you put on everything but like you know that will drag people yeah and that's like how we're doing but like a couple is hard i yeah. know what you're saying yeah a lot of couple <laughs> like a lot of people come like a see couple they do like one two classes if they not like a half shape to to hold up with their legs yeah next day buddy Oh man, I know, I know, because uh, I know that that one of my students when she started, she was like, I know my 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 entire lower body was on pain <laughs> like for three days, <laughs> and I was like, that's just a jiga, that's just normal. <laughs> It's just normal. Yeah. And then like I have my friends that like they train MMA, they train jiu jitsu, they train my thai. Sometimes they come like to do kapoor class, you know, where they can put more the feels, go more stretching, bro. Sometimes, like, they make, like, to the first, like, 40 minutes, and it's yeah. over. <laughs> Because yeah. it's not the muscle group that you work every day. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's completely, it's a completely totally different. different. Yeah. It's a totally yeah. different. Oh, it's yeah. like a swimmer. And you go, like, if, you, if you're a swimmer, you can take most of the martial arts. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because you use everything. Because, like, you know, is one, like, a, is, is, is swimming in capoeira is the most complete, you know, workout through your whole body. Yeah. Right? So, like, a, that's why, like, a, most of the parts, like, a people who does, like, a jiu-jitsu, and they, you know, they got their careers on the top, because, like, a, there was a couple of uses one time. Yeah. MMA is the same thing. There was a couple of uses one time. So, like, a, they learn how to work their body on a different way. They yeah. work to be more dynamic because they reflex the couple of teach you. Yeah. I tell, I ask my people all the time, it's like, I'm going to ask you, what do you train the most in capoeira? What do you think it is, Kishiji? Oh, you're asking me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you train the most, like, physically? No, you train, like, that's what I think, like, the most, well, every capoeirista training is called reflex. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's your brain, it's your eyes. Yeah, So, like, yeah. you train capoeira, you're going to train jiu-jitsu, you're going to be you know, more dynamic. For sure. You understand that's, what I'm saying? True. Yeah, yeah. Because you true. pop, you there, you know, tem a malandragem, tem a negaça, a mandinga do capoeirista. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then like, uh, and it's most of the time, like we turn out to be like a good on, on, on another things, but we have a lot of flexibility. Yeah. So when people from another arts or they not like, a, in, in, you know, on, on, a, on a shape, You know, not saying like that I'm in good shape because I'm not in a good shape, but like it's not in shape. You understand? Yeah. They do. They're gonna hurt, and they're like it's hard to explain. Yeah, it is. It you is. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Especially so people like, uh, never, never, like, because sometimes I get a lot of people that they 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 are not like the greatest shape, but when they try, they don't come back. <laughs> so I think that actually they go back home and they the next day they can't even walk. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know what that that right. happens often, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You true. know, so like imagine if our legs hurt. Yeah. As yeah. much as like a, we do, you know, for them. So like a, when I see like a new, a, a beginner coming in, you know, and like their first time on the first class, I try to, you know, try to go slow to make sure, you know, he's not going to be that, you know, that hurt, like a bit, you know, when he goes to bed. <laughs> so like can explain that they're like, you know, you have to, Give them the attention where you're gonna tell them a little bit about the culture, why you know all you know everything's in Portuguese. Yeah, Because that you know you make people afraid. It's like you know what you're saying. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. You know you you're cursing me. 
Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like a, you're singing like in Portuguese and like you wanted me to repeat. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta know how to work with, you know, to bring them into you. Uh, so like, Look, you. you know, that's a, that's our culture. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's you know, that's what we do. You will understand and if you stick with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. It's funny because I, I always tell that like the newer people, it's like, you know, like the more you come to class, the better you are going you are going to get. And the more you come to class, you're going to understand more what, what is capoeira. But it takes time to understand what is this. Bro, I still trying to understand it to this <laughs> Since what, 92? You started 92? Since 92. Dang. Man. Just imagine. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And, and uh, um, to wrap it up, to finish, because I know, I know you're busy. And uh, what would be a single advice for the capoeira community? A single device for a capoeira community. For, for whoever is listening to this. I got to, if you give me like a five minutes, I will try to put a, a, a thinking that like a, my everybody's going to understand. Okay. Capoeira, my friend, is built off the diversity yeah. of many cultures. You know, it's where like a, our ancestors and our masters fought very hard. To, for us to be here you understand and I think that for capoeirista don't take capoeira as, as a short term take capoeira as a long term you know leave capoeira more than training capoeira yeah train capoeira is part of but you gotta leave capoeira you know what I mean? You want you you gotta have that feeling. I want to be a capoeirista, and then like uh, people will understand that, you know, you you have to have like a guide. Yeah, yeah. And it's a blessing to have a master. Hundred percent, hundred percent. To be honest, and, and and all these twenty years I've been doing capoeira, this is the first. Uh, I've been with, uh, under Mr. Mindinho for, I think, a year and a half, almost two years now. And this is the first time I can say I have a ministry. So, like, uh, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Because it's like this. It's not just you're going to be adopted by someone yeah. that will look at you and say, like, cool, you, you want me to guide you? I will do that for you. Are you... Yeah. I, I will waste my time trying yeah. because yeah. most of the time you see master putting their work on, you know, and people want to live their life. It's okay, bro. You yeah. know, yeah. a marriage can be broken. Yeah. You understand? But like, uh, if you cannot do that, to your, to your mom and your dad. Yeah. Yeah. You can be mad with them forever. Yeah. But they still going to be your mom and dad. Yeah. You're going to be, those are my ex-parents. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. So, like, yeah. it's not a, such a thing. Yeah. You know, and it's a blast to have a master. It's a oh, blast yeah. to have someone like we was talking that you can grab your phone and call. It's like, a, you know, I want to hear you. Yeah. You yeah. know, I got a this and this and that issue. Yeah. You know, you know that, like, what's coming from there is to help. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 You understand? Yeah. It's a deeper friendship. Than just a friend. Yeah. We friends, we're on the same age. We only can advise ourselves on a certain stand. Yeah. Because our, our, our reference and our experience is limited by our age. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you call an older, they have this been in life, you know, and been treated like a by life harder than you, they will know how to, you know act on a certain situation, they will give you the right guide for it. Yeah. So, like, uh, keep doing capoeira, bro. Enjoy capoeira at the, at the fullest because, like, a capoeira is something that, like, uh, is unexplainable. Ah, oh, yes. Love your friends. Love your master. You know, give them the right respect. Show the respect for you can have yours. Yeah, you know, 
everything has a limit, everything has a place. It's not a every event is event to go. It's not every hod is a hod to be. Yeah. You know, try to communicate with your master the much you, you, you can because like a, in Capoeira, buddy, they know better. Yeah. In life, they know better. Yeah. You know, but like make sure you make your pet because that's what they expect from you. Yeah. You understand? So like it's, 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 it's a two-way road. You know, yeah. he's building you, you know, to see you success. And that's is that's their pride and joy, you know, see a, a success. It's like I want to see my daughter to be successful. That's gonna be yeah, my yeah, for sure. enjoyment. Yeah, you know, so in Capoeira is the same thing. They travel, they do everything for us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, not that we don't, we do like a lot of things ourselves, but like yeah. we're still a grown man and we still need to handle our business. Yeah, as a man, you know, yeah, Capoeira yeah. Is, is, is the help that we need, you know. Like uh, I'm, I'm sure on another martial arts, they look at it as the same. People yeah. who does jujitsu, yeah. like they, you know, they look at this like as a lot of faith. Like you know, that that's helping me. That's making me a better person. You know, capoeira make me a better person. That's how I want to transmit to the to the next generation. And it's it's, it's different because we have a generations of masters. You understand? Yeah. And the question is, what generation that we gonna be? Yeah. We're going to be on that generation that like that don't follow their rules or the ancestors? Yeah. Or are we going to keep that chain that was like a letter for us to pull or, yeah. or be part of? You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And I like on, that. On the days out today, we have a lot of influencers yeah. in, in, on the internet and everything else. Pay attention to who you, you reflect with, yeah. who you look. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of people out there. Yeah. You know, make sure, you know, always you have like a fundamentals behind. Make sure like, you know, who they are. You, you understand? Yeah. And try to, you know, I think like the, the, the race for the truth is the biggest race, race in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, what is truth? We will always like a bit truth. But like, don't just go like on the internet and like, you know, follow people that really have fundamentals, have like a history, yeah. have a baggage. Yeah. You know, like a, a baggage are. is off baggage. Yeah, yeah. You know, to you understand understand. who they are, not, not, not to understand the amount of followers, even more like who they are. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what they did for it. Yeah. I didn't do nothing yet. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I don't think I'm going to be capable to do a third what they did. <laughs> If it's a lot of experience, you, you understand? Yeah. We're yeah. not going to be able to be on the streets fighting. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not the era. Yeah. We're yeah. not going to be able to be defending Capoeira like they did. Yeah. Travel, so travel like, uh, one day, 12 hours. just, just Exactly. To so like, uh, it, it's, that's the point, you know, make sure, you know, you go You go like a, to a true capoeira. Yeah. You, you understand? Go look for capoeira on the, on the best of it. Yeah. You know, yeah. follow your master, dude. You know, make sure like, you know, you're doing your best with what you have because you cannot do nothing, you know, with something that you don't have. So you got to work your best with what you have in hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you know, if you make sure you're doing your best with what you have, I'm sure that you're doing like a, amazing. Yeah, 100%. I like that. Work, capoeira, you know, life, family, work ethics, friends, yeah, principles, loyalty, yeah. Is the three things that like uh, that don't hurt nobody. Yeah. You know, and for me, it's those three things that like uh, that is worth the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's oh, my advice. Never stop capoeira. Keep grinding. If you hurt, go play play Benny Bow, go singing or go study. Yeah, so yeah. We cannot stop. And and never, it never stops because you know there, there's so much stuff that you don't have to play. Like you said, you don't have to play to play capoeira or do movements to be doing capoeira. No. Music, beating bow, you're already doing capoeira there. Capoeira is inclusive, dude. Yeah. Capoeira, yeah. capoeira needs everybody. Yeah. You know, everybody needs a capoeira. Yes. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I need capoeira, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. for me to keep going and keep trying, 
Come on, man. If you don't yeah. have capoeira, don't have a bit about your play. You know, sometimes like a singing a song and, you know, just like a travel through that song. Yeah. Make you feel better. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, man, thank you so much. Thank you for 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 making the time and, and the opportunity to to talk today. Oh, my God. Kashishi was a blessing. Thank you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it, my friend. You know, like uh, that I am here for whatever like you need. Thank you so you much. Know? Thank you. And I, for you, do like I just wish like a lot of share, a lot of success, my friends. Same to you, bro. You know, you the man, and then like uh, you already know, my house is your house, and I hope like uh, I can see you here one day. Yes, you know? same, same, same to you here in Indianapolis. <laughs> I'll see you there. Oh yes, oh yes, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon, man. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Okay. Thank you, Kashishi. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for getting this far. Remember, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up on Facebook or YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is going to help us and help me to get bigger numbers and bigger subscribers so we can give more information, okay? Please, if you're listening, I know you're listening. I know you're watching. Please give me a subscribe. Give me a, give, give me a like, okay? I know you're watching right here listening all right have an amazing day thank you so much for tuning in and listening every single episode especially the episode we just did all right thank you so much peace